Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to CDC Mentors. My name is Ketan, and today I'm going to talk about the most important problem, or uh, it's not problem actually, it's just the understanding. You know, when you prepare for CAT, uh, the major problem is that when we prepare for quants predominantly, what are we supposed to focus more on? Uh, is it going to be shortcuts, or is it going to be the traditional or the conventional method? Now, there cannot be a direct answer. So what I'm going to do is in this video I'm going to give you some real examples of CAD papers and I'm going to try to tell you that you know when you should be using what because you cannot be uh, on the one end to be very honest and as far as your CAD prep is concerned. So now the question is that whether you should be focusing more on shortcuts when it comes to quants or you should be focusing more on the conventional or the traditional method when it comes to, uh, to your quants. Now let's understand as far as the shortcuts are concerned. Now when I talk about shortcuts the first thing that comes in our mind is you know reciprocals percentages, ratio and proportion, um, something, you know, some shortcuts in arithmetic area and all that stuff. Now, so shortcuts are important. They are indeed important. You got to learn them, you need to understand them. How do you calculate percentages? You know, how do you calculate those reciprocals? How do you derive reciprocal from one to another? I see so many people say that, you know, you need to learn or by heart reciprocals from one to 30. Uh, I think that's not required. You can watch my video, which is based on a reciprocal. Uh, I, I'll put the link in the description. You can have a look at that. Uh, that video will tell you that you don't have to even rectify or you don't even have to mug up the reciprocals. You can literally derive those reciprocals very easily till 100. Right? So shortcut is something that you need to learn rather you need to kind of you know, apply that. You don't have to mug them up. So that's number one. So shortcuts are quite important as far as quants is concerned for CAT. Yes, it is important. Now, then what about the traditional method? Is that method not important or is it something that we should be getting away from? I think there is no direct answer to it. If, if you ask my point of view, my point of view is that traditional method works fantastic. It really works fantastic as far as your quants is concerned. Now I'm going to give you the analysis. When you talk about the shortcut, right, as far as CAT is concerned. Now look at paper of 2017. If you look at CAT 2017 paper, some of the questions, rather 70% of questions in CAT 2017, quants was so easy that you could actually do them uh, with the help of shortcuts. I still remember there was this uh, question uh, which was based on the edges, um, you know, X, Y, I think, um, I, I forgot that question literally, but then I still remember it was based on the edge kind of a problem. So you could do that orally. It was that easy, right? Now I move to 2018 quants. If you look at 2018 quants, 2018 quants was not that tough to be very honest. It was calculative. The shortcuts were not really getting applied onto it. And that's where what happens is you as an aspirant or you have to apply traditional method on day day. You cannot go with a set of mind saying that I will approach quants cat ka completely on the basis of shortcuts. That's going to be the blunder. That's going to put you in trouble. So don't do that. The thing is, the thing is, we always say that CAT is more of an application level. See, I'm not saying that all the questions out of 34 will be, uh, you know, based on the application. You will get a good number of questions. Around about 20% of the questions will be on the shortcut front. But I think this was unlikely as far as 2018 was concerned. In 2018, not many questions were based on shortcuts. Even the basic questions were not based on shortcuts. Now, when your shortcuts will not work as far as CAT is concerned, Number one thing that you need to understand, if you want to apply shortcuts in CAT, I'm only talking about CAT. If you really want to apply your shortcuts in CAT, number one, you got to have options to it. Exactly. When you see the option, you can work it out, do the approximation, do the guesswork, go with the option. However, if you get a question which is based on TITA, even if, even if you apply shortcut, I can bet you, 95% of the people, 95% of students will try to solve the question by uh, the method, which is the shortcut method. They'll get the answer. For the fact it's TITA, you cannot cross verify. You will again do that question with unitary method so that you kind of cross verify that, you know what? My shortcut was correct because I'm getting answer, the same answer in both the methods. Now, why do you want to do that? Why do you want to do that? So much of hustle, right? So much of chaos because you are solving one question twice. It's like you are writing cat twice on the same day, right? So don't do that. Don't do that. Now, if you have a titta, if you have a titta, what should come in your mind? 
the first thing that should come in your mind do not apply shortcuts at all leave them aside go with your nutrition method go with traditional method because there you have a guarantee that you put in all the formula plug in plug out you're going to get the 100% correct answer that's it and that's where the cat is now moving towards yeah 17 questions were doable arithmetic were like shortcut done and dusted but again not all the questions were based on shortcuts you had to apply your nutrition method also this is what i want to tell you guys so that you practice these things in your daily study in your daily practice don't be so obsessed don't be so fan of shortcuts because they might not work all the time and that is the reason now you might say that you know but it's okay you know we know traditional level we know conventional level we know unitary method but that's not enough we all know unitary method let's say you know there is this guy x he cracks a question with unitary method takes 3 minutes there is this guy which is let's say y he does lot of efforts he takes lot of efforts he does lot of hard work on the unitary method while he prepare for cat on the d day this guy because he has a habit to do the traditional method quite often he can crack the same question in one and a half minute so this guy gets more opportunity to do couple of more questions honestly that's how it works and that's the reason i say that it's always good it's always good to learn the shortcuts you got to learn them you have the chance there is a question two liner options are given apply it crush it shortcuts are working fine you are way ahead but if you look at the tita question the way they are coming in quants if you do not have options in there you got to work it out with your um, traditional method so in c to c the basic level you can work it out with shortcuts advanced you need a bit of application and guys trust me when i say application see it's a common sense right when i say application the application has to be the unitary method you cannot apply shortcuts on the application because you need to work some numbers out that's the way cat quants is all about i'm not saying that everything is going to be traditional no you probably have seven eight questions which are predominantly based on shortcuts but tell me will that be will that be sufficient to get into one of the i am no right and that is the reason now or not words when you guys are practicing sitting at home or class and whatever try to get the speed in traditional approach shortcuts the hey yeah but try to get the speed in the traditional approach right try to do the questions faster that's going to help you in cat if you know shortcuts your life is sorted for edge match snap and all that kind of exams right which are like speed based and that's the reason guys it is really really important that now or more you focus more on the application so in c to c advanced level is actually a cat level which is going to be a bit of traditional level yet you have to work on that level challenger level that we have it is way above it is it is actually tougher than cat and zat there is no shortcuts can be applied because there you need to understand the question understand what needs to be done plug in the formulas do the calculation and then get it and that's the main crux that is the main crux now listen to me very carefully if there are two students in there right if there are two students in there what student can do the unitary method can do the traditional method he is not sure about his speed he might not take the question fir wo kya karega dhoondte baithega he will do the selection that's going to consume lot of time even in mock that's going to consume lot of time attempt is going to go down your attempt will go down but there is this guy he knows that i know traditional method i know conventional method i can do it by unitary method and my speed is good i can work out my calculations fatafat this guy is at a profit so now on words if you look at the new cat all together the way the questions are coming i actually want you guys to have a backup if you get questions i would love to see all shortcut questions in cat quants if you get it nothing like it nail it but if not then you should go ahead with traditional approach and you should be so bloody confident that yes give me any damn question i can crack it with traditional approach that should be your mindset for next 3 months so that's it from my side guys and i will be uploading couple of um, more videos on uh, di lr quants actually i will be catering to lot of uh, you know areas of quant uh, uh, for area of cat verbal and all that there will be lot of videos i'm also going to give you couple of uh, you know sneak peek of my uh, workshop videos so stay tuned to my channel do subscribe share the video so that people get to learn thank you so much guys